Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. There are so many online deals that you can do this week at Walgreens for curbside pickup. So in this video, I'm gonna break down a bunch of different coupon deals that you can do, as well as three different scenarios based on whatever coupons you have, based on whatever digital booster you have as well. So I'm gonna break it all down for you in this video. If you're new to my channel, take a second, hit that red subscribe button. I would absolutely love to have you as part of my channel and it's completely free to subscribe. Then you won't miss out on any easy deals that you can do every single week to make sure that you're stocking up on the products that you use and your family uses consistently so you never have to pay full price. Okay, let's dive in. So first, I'm gonna share with you some scenarios using the Rakuten new user bonus. At the end, I also have a very low out-of-pocket scenario if you're already a Rakuten user like myself. I've been using Rakuten for about six years now. So it is a cashback website. So I still use it every single time that I place an order for Walgreens for curbside pickup because you're gonna get 2% cash back and that changes. Sometimes it's 10% cash back. So you always wanna make sure that you are using Rakuten. So I actually have the browser extension installed on my computer. It makes it a lot easier. That way, anytime I'm on any website, it could be Macy's.com, it could be Home Depot, whatever. A little thing will pop up and say, hey, they work with Rakuten, click this button to activate the cash back. So that way you don't forget. They also have the new user bonus, like I mentioned, if you're new to Rakuten, the link is below in the description box to get signed up. When you spend $30 out of pocket, before taxes and before shipping, you're gonna get $30 cash back plus the percent back that the store offers. If you don't use the link below and you just go to Rakuten.com, then the new user bonus is a lot less. It's spend 25, get 10. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're using that link. And like I said, if you're already a Rakuten user, still use it. It's two clicks of a button and you're gonna be able to get the cash back. So this is how it works. When you click that link, you can do it on a desktop or you can do it on a phone. I usually use my phone, but I'm on my desktop just for this video. So what you're gonna do is create a free account. Then you're gonna search for Walgreens. And it shows right now there's 2% cash back. So you're gonna click shop now. It'll take you right over to the normal Walgreens website. You can log into whatever account you want. It does not have to be the same email that you just signed up with Rakuten on. See how it popped up in the top right corner? That's because I have the extension installed as well, which I definitely do recommend installing that extension like I mentioned. So now we are going to start adding some amazing deals to our cart. So let me show you what to do. Okay, there are some codes that I saw. There was also a vitamin code. Um, so clean 15 is 15% 15 off of $25 or more for different cleaning products. Flash 20, there was 20% off of $35 or more for beauty and personal care products. You're welcome to try the codes. I do not have the codes in the scenarios just because you wanna make sure that it's not messing with the Rakuten new user bonus. Okay. So this deal has been so incredible. I stocked up on it last week. I did it this week as well. I just did it in store, but you can do it online too. So as you can see, when you pull up Scott products on the Walgreens website, this is what it shows down here at the bottom. They're buy one, get one half off and spend $35. You're gonna earn back $10 in Walgreens cash. We have two different digital coupons. So you wanna make sure that you're clipping them both you're gonna buy nine. You can mix and match. It does not matter which products you buy. So I have this in a scenario at the end as well for what your final cost would be if you're using the Rakuten bonus. Then using that and a digital booster, I'll show you what some of the digital boosters are that are floater, floating around this week. You're gonna pay $33 out of pocket. You wanna pay that out of pocket. If your booster is spend 35, get seven, you cannot pay with Walgreens cash. So it is a little bit of a high out of pocket. However, you're earning back $17 in Walgreens cash. Plus, anytime I do curbside pickup, I always make sure I go inside and I ask for a paper receipt. Most Walgreens are still giving paper receipts. Some, however, do not. If your store does not offer a paper receipt at all, then you're just gonna miss out on $1 cash back from Shopmium, not a huge deal. So your final cost would be $15 for nine products or $1.67 a piece. That is the cheapest that I've ever seen Scott products. Another deal that you can do in store or online is gonna be the mix and match three for nine. 
So this is the way that I did it personally. You can always replace the Dawn Platinum with the Febreze plug. I just don't need any more Febreze plugs. That's not typically what I use in our house and we love Dawn. So I would rather do it this way. To me, it's a little bit more bang for your buck. So grab whatever three products that you want. These are the three digital coupons that attach. So your final cost is gonna be $3.90 for three products or $1.30 a piece. And for Dawn, I think that's an amazing deal. This alone at Walmart is $3.94. And you're gonna be paying less than that for three products than you would grabbing this alone and paying full price at Walmart. So that is why learning how to coupon and learning how to use digital coupons is so, so important. If you guys need help with that, if you're feeling overwhelmed and you're trying to learn how to coupon on your own, I do have a couponing mini course with my step-by-step -step tutorials that teach you exactly how to get started. So you can click the card in the top right-hand corner or that'll be below for you again in the description box with a ton of other resources for you. Cottonelle, this is a really good deal. So you can buy one of the four counts that are on sale for $5. We have a $2 digital coupon, makes it just $3. Bic Razors, I have two different options for you on this. One is gonna be doing the full out deal, which is buy three, get $3 in Walgreens cash. Then in my low out-of-pocket scenario, I have it where you're just buying one. So again, stay tuned, I'll break all that down for you so you can put together your own deals. So for this one, you can grab three. That way it completes the deal of buy three, get $3 in Walgreens cash, and they're buy one, get one half off. So three of them is gonna total you $12.47. We have one digital coupon for $4 off, so clip that. You'll pay $8.47, get back $3 in Walgreens cash, makes it $5.47 for three razors or $1.82 each. I still think that's a really good stock up price. If you're using this in a digital booster scenario, it's gonna wind up being cheaper as well. This Mr. Clean deal is my favorite. We rarely get deals on Mr. Clean. I actually used the Clean Freak Mist for the first time last year, and I really, really loved it. I love lemon scent as well. Or you can get the Magic Erasers. Pick whichever one you want. They're $5.99 on sale. And we have a $3 digital coupon. So that'll make one of them just $2.99. Remember, digital coupons are one-time use coupons. You have to pick which product that you want. You can't buy both. It won't work twice. It'll only work one time. Next, we have an Eric plug for $2.99. There's a $2.09 digital coupon. That makes your final cost 90 cents. Not that you may need this product, but it could really help lower your out-of-pocket cost when you're putting together your scenarios. Okay, let's check for the digital boosters. So my account had spend 35, get $7 in Walgreens cash. My mom's account had spend 40, get 10. So whichever you have, you could have something completely different. Just make sure that you clip whatever you have and adjust your math accordingly. So for this booster for spend 35, I need $35 in product value before any manufacturer digital coupons. For this booster, I need $40 of product value. So you just wanna make sure that whatever your scenario is, you are grabbing the correct amount of products. Okay. Let's put together our first Rakuten scenario. So you need to pay $30 out of pocket before taxes and shipping to get the new user bonus. So I'm gonna explain that to you and how to make sure that you're doing it correctly if you're mixing and matching some of the deals that I'm sharing with you. So here's one scenario. You're grabbing three of the razors. You're grabbing the Febreze Small Spaces, Febreze Air, and Febreze Plug. Then you're grabbing the Dove Body Wash deal. I didn't show it, but they are buy two, get $4 in Walgreens cash. And as you see over here, we have a four off two digital coupon. Then grab the Cottonelle. There's also a really good deal on this um, Fashion Secrets liquid fashion tape, which is really amazing and I wanna try it so bad. There's also a $5 digital coupon, so this can help with like keeping your tops in place or your skirts in place or something like that. And then one Mr. Clean, whichever one you want at $5.99. So these are all the digital coupons coming off. Here's your order summary. You have $55 worth of product value, plus taxes, minus all the manufacturer coupons. You're at $34.72 out of pocket. So here's the breakdown. Remember, it has to be $30 
before taxes. I get a lot of people who DM me and email me and be like, hey, I didn't get the Rakuten new user bonus. Like what happened? I have them send me the screenshot and this, this total right here is like 30 bucks. Well, that doesn't work because you have to subtract the taxes out of it. So $34.72 minus taxes of 388 equals $30.84. So we are good to go with this scenario. So just make sure you take two seconds, do this one little subtraction right here to make sure that you are meeting the requirement for Rakuten so you can get back the $30. Then you're gonna earn back $17.55 in Walgreens cash, 10 from the booster. This is based off of the spend 40, get 10 scenario. If you have the spend 35, then you would be getting back $14 in Walgreens cash. So again, just adjust your math accordingly. 2% back from Rakuten. That is calculated based off of this price right here, which is awesome, the subtotal. Makes all of these products free in almost a $10 moneymaker. I get asked a lot with Rakuten too, like when is it gonna hit my account? So for Rakuten, if you're placing an order for pickup, once you pick up the order, give it 48 hours and it'll show on your Rakuten account. You can get that sent to your PayPal or you can have them send you a check. Um, they mail out payments every quarter. Or if you're doing an order for shipping, say you wanna use the new user bonus for Nike or Macy's or any of the other thousands of deals, you can. What you're gonna do is once the product actually ships, that's when the new user bonus and the percent cash back is gonna hit your account. Because obviously if a store cancels it, they don't wanna give you the cash back and then take it back. So that's when you're gonna notice it on your account. So just be a little patient if anything happens. Rakuten has really good customer service, so just reach out to them, send them an email, be like, hey, I didn't get this back, like what happened? They'll ask you for my email. You're gonna give them briecouponqueen at gmail.com and they'll be able to credit you the cash back. Okay, here's the Scott deal again with the Rakuten deal and the digital booster. So everything is the same like you see here. Then you're getting back the $30 from Rakuten and the 2% makes it free and a $15 and 70 cent moneymaker, which is so incredible. So what's your cash cost? Your cash cost is going to be, you're paying $33 out of pocket. You're getting back $30 cash back from Rakuten, a dollar cash back from Shopmium and 70 cents back from Rakuten. So your cash cost, how much came out of your bank account is going to wind up being only a dollar and 30 cents for nine packs of paper products, which is so exciting. I personally like Scott. I use it in all my bathrooms. We use the Scott paper towels. I think they're great, especially for the price. Okay, third scenario. Here is a low out-of-pocket scenario. This one is not using the Rakuten new user bonus, but it is using the digital booster for spend 35. It gets $7 in Walgreens cash. So these are all the products that you're gonna go ahead and grab and these are all of the digital coupons. So this one is using the scenario, you're just grabbing one Bic razor and the $4 digital, and then you're grabbing one Skin Skintimate razor, we also have a $4 digital coupon, and you're grabbing two L'Oreal Alvive. Now this one has a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon. They will stack and work together, and I explain that in my mini course as well, just letting you guys know exactly how to put together your own deals and your own scenarios to make sure that you don't have any issues at checkout. So let's go to the breakdown for this one. For the digital boosters, you have to hit the spend amount after any store coupons. Well, we have a $2 off two store coupon. So again, do that math, we're here, we're at 35.55. So for the digital booster of spend 35, get $7 in Walgreens cash, we have to be at $35. We're at 35.55, so we're good to go. We're over that threshold, so we are good. Then we have $22.99 in manufacturer digital coupons. You'll pay $12.56 plus tax. Do not pay with Walgreens cash. Then you're gonna get back $7 in Walgreens cash for the booster, which is this one, like I said. And again, still use Rakuten though, because you're gonna get 2% back. Makes your final cost $4.84 for all 10 products or 48 cents per product. That is an amazing, amazing deal. So make sure you guys are mixing and matching based on whatever deals you guys need, whatever products you guys need, 
whatever digital coupons you need. Make sure that the scenario works best for you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.